What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out 10 WWE arenas that got destroyed. This should be very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what do you mean by destroyed? Maybe some of the set, maybe some of the ring side area got destroyed. I'm guessing that's what he's talking about. But either way, we're gonna check this out. This is by Tap Out Corner, man. If you haven't subscribed to Tap Out Corner, what are you doing? He has some dope, informative, wrestling-related videos. So definitely go check him out. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's do the damn thing. You're gonna see WWE arenas get destroyed. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Gosh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that spot only because the ref whoa, it just falls out of the ring for no reason. <laughs> some were intentional and some were absolutely not. On June 2010 episode of Raw, fans got to choose who'd face John Cena in the main event. Their options were two of the greatest wrestlers of all time and CM Punk. <laughs> was the strange wrestler, but unfortunately, the match got cut short. The winner of NXT season one uh -huh, appeared yep. on stage, and soon the other NXT rookies this surrounded the ring. Was the group that great. Been called I... Nexus then mauled both CM Punk and John Cena, but <laughs> didn't stop there. Bro, this, I watched this live, I was like, what the fuck did I just see? This was great. Oh, they and Nexus had so much, so much hype around them and so much promise. And I, bruh, I was like, yo, what did, what did I just see? They tore apart the ring, the barricade, the announcer's table, oh, and just so. about everyone except <laughs> the cameraman, of course. So this is, so this is basically what he meant by the, the you know, the arena's getting destroyed. I figured that to be some ringside destruction or whatever but the fact that the timekeepers weren't safe and they were catching the beats was fucking hilarious by the time the nexus was done look at this like the ringside area had been through a war zone this is good bro while this was scripted a real riot broke out at yep, show i've seen this clip. The arena get trashed but before we get to that we need to see what stone cold steve austin did the texas rouse uh -huh. has dished out his fair amount of destruction from drenching the rain and beer to destroying an entire supermarket yep. <laughs> classic classic segment bro However, the most damage Austin did to a WWE arena was on Raw in 1999. After defeating The Rock and winning the WWE yeah. Championship at WrestleMania, Austin demanded that the corporation return his smoking skull belt. The corporation refused, leaning to Stone Cold on the weekend <laughs> fan of You Know What. Thanks to help from the big show, yeah, I remember the this. giant Taintron video yep. screen lowered. The Texas Rattlesnake then ripped it to shreds and ruined the biggest part mm -hmm. of the Raw arena. Let's hope WWE had that insured. Brock Lesnar doesn't just dish Jesus out damage Christ. to his opponents, he also dishes out proper yep. damage. Using the briefcase as a weapon. What? She launched it. The first time Brock Lesnar <laughs> wrecked a WWE ring was when he fought the Big Show in the main event of SmackDown. This is when they first did the ring spot, and watching this, I bro, that was so cool. Yes, they've done it, in my opinion, a little too too many times. I, I get why. Two big opponents going at it and doing a suplex in the ring falls. It's just we've seen it too many times at this point. I wouldn't say too many times, but we've seen it enough where it doesn't have the same effect. Like spearing somebody through the barricade doesn't have the same effect than when Goldberg did it <laughs> the first time. So well, in WWE, the size, Brock had the strength. Both athletes threw everything they had, and it actually it was a great way to end off the after and Great way to end off SmackDown. This was so cool, bro. Oh my. This is so Rocking good. Big Show's weight and impact was so much that something was going to give. We just didn't know it was going to be the This was cool, Surprisingly, though. Surprisingly, this isn't the most amount of destruction Brock Lesnar has caused in WWE. 19 years after the Beast destroyed yep. the WWE <laughs> ring, Lesnar decided... Him in rings, man. He just loves destroying them. <laughs> ...to one-up himself. At SummerSlam 2022, Brock this was on cool, Roman Reigns bro. for the undisputed WWE Universe Such Championship. Such a fun match. Brock and Roman had already fought in six one-on-one -on -one matches, so their SummerSlam encounter had to be special. And it was. Brock so good. Brock off by bringing a tractor to the ring, but the Beast wasn't using it just for transportation. As the match wore on, Brock and Roman had already done quite a bit of damage, yeah. both to themselves and the arena. <laughs> However, nobody expected what was going to happen next. Brock Lesnar started up his tractor and gave the Tribal Chief a little This was so fucking crazy. That was so crazy, bro. 
I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've ever seen a WB Rain suspended in the air. That By the was time the match is finished, it crazy. looked like an F5 tornado had blown through the ringside area. Hardcore matches are, by nature, pretty destructive. Using tables, ladders, and just about anything else you can imagine. Not the shopping However, cart. Kane, The Big Show, and Raven took things to the next level at WrestleMania 17. The match started before everyone was in the ring, which wasn't a big deal since the fight quickly went yep. elsewhere. The three wrestlers found themselves backstage and nothing was okay. Golf carts were crashed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> walls were bashed. Glass was smashed. Yep. <laughs> and everything else that was in the way got wrecked. Of course, they needed a big finale to finish things off, and they delivered. Kane was giving out them beats. <laughs> that was insane, but wait until you see what a group of angry fans did to a WWE arena. We would be here all day if we Jeez. just talked about all the stuff Braun Strowman has destroyed. Yeah. That was cool. Well, I watched that live. This is when Braun Strowman was in his peak of destroying things. This shit was cool. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's just tipping over things and destroying things. It was so it good. It should be too surprising that the Monster Mom Men has also <laughs> wrecked the WB Arena uh -huh. multiple times. Yep. One of the first was in Braun and the Big Show locked up. The two giants had started butting heads when Strowman eliminated the Big Show twice, once at the 2017 Royal Rumble and a second time at WrestleMania 33. The world's largest athlete knew he had to get serious to show Braun and the fans that he was still the giant of WWE. Unfortunately, WWE hadn't learned anything from the last time Big nope, Show was in yep, the ring with what the he's beast, talking about here. leading to this happening. Yep. Oh <laughs> <laughs> On Monday Night Raw. That was child's play though, compared to what Braun Strowman would do mm -hmm. less than a year later. In January 2018, the monster was feuding with Kane and, ironically, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> During one episode of Raw, this the three men so were fighting good. and the brawl spilled backstage. Braun saw an opportunity this to so literally good. squash his competition and took it. <laughs> this is so good! Oh, bro, Braun Strowman, oh my god. Dave, man, this is why it's crazy at the time. They at this point when he was literally destroying people, destroying sets, fucking attacking Roman Reigns, <laughs> putting them in the ambulance. Like, bro, this was this is peak Braun Strowman right here. Peak Braun Strowman, bro. They gave him some of the coolest spots, the backstage segments and destruction. He killed. He legit killed Brock Lesnar. And <laughs> And Kane, I'm gonna have to show this to Dub. I'm gonna have to show this clip to Dub because I don't think Dub has seen this. Maybe he has, I'm not sure. I think I may have shown this to him, but this is fantastic. <laughs> this <laughs> led to even more fans. The next week, the Raw General Manager, Kurt Angle, fired Braun Strowman. Yeah. Let's just say Braun did not take the news well. Nope. Oh my god. He just. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> in August of 2020, WWE would be uprooted by a group called Retribution. Yeah. The first act of terror was destroying a WWE generator, but things quickly escalated. <laughs> a few days later, Retribution <laughs> invaded the SmackDown arena. The group wrecked the place by flipping over announcers' tables and leaving. Ba basically, some Nexus vibes, but it it didn't land. The idea and the premise was cool at first, but it they weren't able to stick the landing here. But it was basically like. The modern day version of Nexus. Graffiti all over. Retribution even tried to attack WWE production staff, <laughs> like the announcers and cameramen. This is our house now! This is our house now! Some members of the audience <laughs> got beat up too. The most shocking moment. <laughs> when you think about it, bro, that's a fucking lawsuit. <laughs> Some members of the audience all of a sudden start catching the beats at a fucking show. <laughs> During the pandemic, I want y'all to see how stupid that looks, but how funny it is at the same time. Niggas just watching the show and they start getting beat up. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let the announcement Look at this, camera. bro. This is our house now. This is our house now. Some members of the oh! audience got beat up too. <laughs> the most shocking moment, though, was seeing the ring get destroyed. Bro, yeah, that shit was crazy. 
In 2008, <laughs> Vince McMahon decided to be generous this one. and give away a million dollars to the fans. Each week on Raw, one random person would win a boatload of cash. But how exactly does this lead to an arena getting destroyed? Just watch this. Mm -hmm. During the third week of the giveaway, McMahon was on stage when all of a sudden, a piece of production equipment fell from the ceiling. Yep. The stage would then collapse, and then this would happen. Yep. <laughs> They Luckily, sold this, this though. Before McMahon had given all the money away. The moments we've looked at so far were all part of the script. However, these next few segments were not, and one actually led to multiple people being arrested. The ECW fans were a different mm -hmm. breed. They were wild and at times unpredictable. Yeah. During one show, WWE Hall of Fame, Jesus! Funk and McFoley asked some chairs. Rest in peace, Terry Funk. did they get them? They just start throwing chairs. Look at that, bro. Well, that was pretty intense. The ECW fans actually destroyed a wrestling ring once. The tag team public enemy had just defeated the gangsters and invited the fans into the ring. The weight eventually became Oh, yeah. I've seen this clip. Yep. It was too many people. <laughs> it was too many people in the ring. At least the fans weren't intentionally trying to cause harm. Yeah. However, this next moment, they were. On December 15th, 1997, WWE was hosting a show in Little Rock, Arkansas. The show took place on a Monday, and WWE had advertised that it was going to be a big televised show. So when fans arrived at the arena and found out it wasn't, they got pretty upset. Oh. Combine that with drinking, and you have a recipe for disaster. As the show went on, fans began throwing trash and drinks at the wrestlers. It was Whoa. so bad that WWE be canceled the main event and that was when all heck broke loose Damn. fans became livid and fights broke out in the crowd chairs and other objects were thrown around and the arena security couldn't control it police were called in and tear gas had to be used to disperse the crowd multiple fans bro that guy was taking bro did y'all see that he was getting hit with that damn nightstick and he was just sitting no selling it like it didn't hurt him at all look at this he, he's hitting him with it. In, and uh, tear gas had uh, to be used uh, to disperse the crowd. It's only the tear Multiple gas, and it barely stopped him. And a lot of damage was done to the arena. That's insane, but not he said, to what, the arena. What did he say? The crowd. Multiple fans oh, ended up getting yeah, arrested, right. and a lot of damage was done to the arena. That's insane, but not as insane as seeing the Big Show destroy a wrestling ring with his bare hands. Hit this video. To Man, this was a great one. I'm going to go ahead and give this a good old like because this was a great video hopefully you guys uh like it as well subscribe to tap out corner if you haven't already but comment down below let me know your favorite destruction spot of all time in wwe man let me know if it wasn't already on this list if it was let me know which one was your favorite one but i appreciate all the love and support guys shown on channel road to 150 and i'm still getting the speed of youtube wrestling tip of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace